Okay, now yesterday I posted a video about this incredible new GoodLock module called Registar, which Samsung released on its GoodLock application, which was not active on my device. So I did say that I will post a review video on this application as soon as it gets activated on the phone. So here I am with a follow-up video sharing all that this amazing application has to offer. Now, first thing, kudos to GoodLock team for making this awesome, useful module. We as Samsung users really appreciate this work. If you guys agree with me, do drop a comment. And and yeah, while you do that, you can subscribe to the channel as well if you are interested in knowing your phone's fullest potential. Now let's go ahead and open Good Lock. Under the Life Up section, you will see this all new module. Currently, this is available on the One UI 5.0, so be wary of that. And like I mentioned in yesterday's video, this is supported on the S series and Note series phones, and the rest of the devices may receive this application in the future. Now let me tap on Register. As you can see, this page looks very simple with just about five options, but this can do some powerful stuffs on your Galaxy Fold. Now on top you can see customize your settings home. Let me tap on this. Here we have got a few options. The first one is menu, order and group settings. I'll tap on this. As you can see these are all the tabs or the options that we have on Samsung's settings menu. Let me just go back and open the settings. As you can see we have got Samsung account on the top. Then we have got connections, connected devices, modes and routines and rest of the options are all there on the settings menu and you are going to see the same options right here on this register module as well. And we can reorder the options here by just tapping and holding on this arrow button and just move it up or down. And here on the left hand side, you can just uncheck the option that you don't want to see on your settings menu. Now, for example, let's say I don't want to see Samsung account. I can just uncheck this. We don't have that option for connections. Let me just uncheck this connected devices. Now you'll have to tap on save. Now let's go back to the settings. As you can see, the options that we just removed are not showing up on the settings application. That is just fantastic. You can remove or add the settings options or you can customize it. You can move it up or down depending on your convenience. Let's say there are some of the settings on your settings application which you don't use more often. You can just remove it or drop it to the bottom of this page. That is fantastic. Then we have got Samsung account. We have an option to show the account's name. I can just tap on this. We can select name or we can select the nickname. Then we have got this toggle hide an email address. If I enable this, as you can see on the settings menu, you will not see the email address on your accounts tab. That's what this can do. Now let's go back. Let's look at the second option. We've got settings change history. What it's going to show you is all those settings that you have changed in the past, just in case if you want to know which settings you have changed on your device. Let's go back. We've got search options. Now this is a cool option that we have. Let me tap on this. As you can see, we have got display policy. I can tap on this to select menu order or accuracy. Now let me show you what this does. First, let's keep menu order. Now I'll go to settings. I'll tap on search. I'll just search call. As you can see here, it's going to show me the menu options under which we have got this text that you just searched. We can see Bixby text call under call settings. Then we have got sounds and vibration settings under which we have got this call options. Likewise, we have got few more options under call settings. So basically, this is going to show you the menu options. Now let's go back. I will select accuracy instead of menu. Now I'll go to settings. Now let me again tap on search and key in the same word call. Now you see it is not showing me the menu options. Instead, it will show me all those results or options which contains this particular word or letter that I have typed. This is going to increase the search accuracy if you find it confusing to see the menu options when you search on the settings. That is so thoughtfully done, isn't it? Now the next option is allow creation of a shortcut. Now this is crazy. Just listen to this. I'll enable this. Now what I'll do is I will again search. Just for an example, I will search notification. Now we've got this option notification history here. Now let's say I want to create a shortcut for this particular option. I can just press and hold on this. You will see this pop up add to home screen. Touch and hold an icon or tap add to add it to the home screen. We can easily add this option as a shortcut right on your home screen, which can be easily and quickly accessed. That is brilliant, isn't it? I'm so surprised to see these options being offered on this application. Now, if you remember, we had to use the third party applications to create this kind of shortcuts and add it on the home screen. Now we have got this feature right on Registar. Now let me just show you another example. But before I show you that, let me go back to search option and select the menu order. Now again, I'll go back to settings and search for camera. As you can see, we have got so many options here. We can press and hold on any of these options to add a shortcut for that particular setting. 
This is how this particular feature works. Now right below this allow creation of shortcuts toggle, we have got another toggle called hide tag suggestions. Let's enable this and let's go back to settings now. As you can see when you tap on search, you will not see those tags here at the bottom. It keeps this search option clean and simple while creating a particular shortcut for any of the search results that you want. That is again thoughtfully done. Now let's go back. Here we've got settings extensions. One is a back tap action and the second one is side key press and hold action. We have been waiting to see these features on Galaxy phones and now we have finally got this through this GoodLock application. Let me tap on back tap action. As you can see, we have a toggle to turn it on. We have got event detection notification. If you want this, you can turn it on. It's just gonna show you a pop-up when a back tap event is detected. I would say this is not really needed. You can just keep it disabled. Right below this, we have got double tap and triple tap options. We have got similar options for the double tap as well as triple tap. When you tap on double tap, we have got options like none, take and share screenshot, access your Google voice assistant, start pop-up window, show notifications, show recent applications, back button, and you can also open specific application. Just for example, let me just select take a screenshot. I will just double tap on the back of the screen and it takes the screenshot here. Now let me select start pop-up window. I'll just double tap. You see this app has been put into a pop-up window. Likewise, we have got a few more options here. And even for triple tap, we have got similar options here. Depending on your convenience, you can select whether you want double tap action or triple tap action. Now let's go back. We have got side key press and hold action. I'll tap on this. Now here we have got a toggle on the top to turn it on. Then we have a list of options which we can set for the side button. You can just press and hold on the side key to execute any of these below options. Here it says this settings has priority over the menu in the bracket there mentioned settings, advanced features, side key in global settings. This means if you have enabled any side key functions in the settings menu under advanced features, it is not gonna work because this good lock module has priority over those options that you have set on the Galaxy device. Of course, both these cannot interfere with each other. So when you enable this feature on this good lock app, the default side key functions will be disabled. Now you can select any of these options. We've got a few more additional options when compared to the back double tap or triple tap options. I wish Samsung had added all of these options even for the double tap or triple tap that would have been useful here again we can take screenshots by pressing and holding on the side button we can turn on or off flashlight we can mute or unmute volumes we can access notifications we have show recent applications option we also have back button and again we have got this open app option most importantly we have got this access your google voice assistant option we can just press and hold on the side key to access the google voice assistant these are the options that we get with the side key press and hold action this is just amazing isn't it i'm so so excited to use all these features on the Galaxy device. You let me know what do you think about this application? What do you think about this module on GoodLock? Unfortunately, this is not available for everyone right now. It is available for the latest Yes and Fold series devices on One UI 5.0 and I hope Samsung pushes this to the rest of the eligible devices very soon. I will keep you guys posted about that information whenever I get it. That's about it. That is Registar for you guys. Don't forget to drop a comment about which particular feature or function that you really liked on this application and do subscribe to the channel we are inching closer to 50k subscribers your support will be much appreciated thanks for watching my name is salian signing off you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye